Hi guys, welcome back to the EC Physio YouTube channel. Today's video is about a patient who came in to see me about the bunions on his feet. When looking at him, we notice his right foot has developed a large bunion when compared to his left. We'll dive into why his lower leg biomechanics has caused this to occur. Looking at his feet from behind, we notice pes cavus, or flat feet. His left heel, or calcaneus, has more valgus, or rolling in. One thing that springs to mind when seeing this is that he may have a leg length difference, with his left leg being longer than his right. The longer leg will try to compensate by pronating or rolling in more to effectively shorten that leg. After measuring his leg length, it confirmed my suspicions that his left leg was longer by approximately one and a half centimeters. His right foot is held in more supination or rolled out to effectively try to lengthen that leg with each step that he takes. Before looking at his walking, we need to go over some preamble first. Normally during walking, we strike the ground with your heel first, then transfer onto the ball of the feet rolling from the pinky side to the big toe. When all this happens correctly, a muscle called the adductor hallucis brevis functions correctly and forms the transverse arch of your foot. Here's a look at his walking. Focus on his right foot. He doesn't land on his right heel. He tends to make initial contact with the ground from the outside of his midfoot. As I mentioned, because his foot is rolled out or supinated, it is his way of compensating for the leg length difference. And here's a look of it slowed down. Look at how his right foot lands on the outside of his midfoot as opposed to his heel. Because the foot is supinated, he has troubles getting his first ray, or the ball of his first toe, to the ground. As a result, the adductor hallucis brevis ends up pulling the big toe inwards, creating a bunion that gets worse and worse without intervention. So what's the fix? Well, obviously we cannot change the arthritis that's already happened with his feet and bunions, but we can prevent it from getting worse. The goal is to try to help him descend the first ray with each step that he takes. This can be accomplished by one, adding some height to his right leg in the form of orthotics or thicker insoles, two, manual therapy on his first ray complex, three, soft tissue work in the intermetatarsal interval, and four, some exercises to help with descending the first ray. Please get in touch if you have any questions about physiotherapy or would like to book an appointment.